Hey, what's up, YouTube family? This is Jaren here, and I'm back with a, another episode. Uh, in this one, I wanted to go ahead and show you how we go about shipping out our product. So right now, I'm out in our garage where we have our little uh, shipping station. As you can see, I'm just going to keep backing up here. You can just see that we have several shelves right here full of boxes and, and poly envelopes. So I'm just going to detail each one. So. Uh, Right here, we typically ship out with, uh, I'm gonna pull out one of these. These are the poly envelopes that we, or the poly bags that we ship out with. So we'll put, you know, all of our products in, in that if it fits. And then we'll put it in, you know, maybe a priority envelope. Uh, we particularly like to ship out like our jeans and, and stuff that we know is gonna be over a pound. We like to use one of these uh, flat rate um, and it gets there, you know, in about two days. Okay. This is another flat rate envelope. We don't use these as much, but they are still a good option, especially if you have something, you know, pretty light or whatever that is going to be heavier than first class, uh, but, you know, it's still going to be over, you know, uh, that pound. You can fit it into here. Uh, and it'll work just fine. We can't typically put any shoes in there, so you know, mainly it'll be like a, a heavier shirt or maybe like some some heavier or some some pants that are light, you know, but then kind of on that heavy side as well. So we'll use that. Uh, and this option is actually cheaper than this option right here. So that's where that one comes into into play. Um, we mainly ship with these eBay envelopes here and I believe they're 12 by 15 they're pretty big and we get these off of the eBay website um, off of their store for the supplies when you have a store subscription you are able to get I want to say $50 a $50 credit and so I basically just get those every time or I'll get some of the uh, the tape so um, and then next we have the uh, 7 by 7 by 6 boxes have those we don't really use those that much but they do come in handy every now and again and then we have the uh, the dvd boxes or video game boxes whatever we use those as well okay um and then also these are our the bigger boxes they are 12 by 12 by 8 we use these pretty often um, if we have like some boots or, you know, just anything just going to be large, we'll put it into one of those and uh, get it shipped out. Uh, and I've learned, you know, that if you want to use these boxes, even though they say USPS, if you want to use these at the at FedEx, you can. I actually spoke with them and they told me that it was just fine. So that's what I do. And every time I take it, I never have any issues. So, OK, so down at the bottom, we got the uh, 12 by three by 15s we never use these but they are there and available we got the 11 by eight by sixes right here again don't really use those but they are available these are the medium flat rate boxes um i don't like shipping with the medium flat rate boxes unless like i can fit quite a quite a unless i can fit a lot of items in there you know so okay so then you got the 10 by seven by five that's going to be these right here. Let me see here. 10 by 7 by 5. Nope, those are the medium flat rates. So that's going to be these right here. These right here. There we go. Regional A. Regional A boxes. I don't think I've ever used one of those before, but they are available. Shoe boxes. 12 by 8 by 5. Okay, you can use a shoe box to ship out your shoes and you can get all of this all of the supplies the USPS supplies from the USPS website uh, you just go on there and basically you know add to cart and then check out and the post office will ship it to you it'll show up right at your front door and then also we have some of these I've only probably used this once and you could probably use it for, you know, if you have some golf clubs or, you know, something long, you can fit it in one of those. So these are basically the supplies that we like to use. And also 
We've got some of these. I don't use these as much as I used to, but they do come in handy and they do work pretty well. So you could always use one of these. Uh, it isn't flat rate. It's just an envelope and it's 11 by 15. 11 by 15. Okay, so my wife Jordan is actually doing some shipping right now, so let's go watch her do a few of them. How's it going? And she's putting one of our little white personal cards that we put in every package just to add a bit of personal touch. Let the customer know that we appreciate them. So this item is, I'm guessing it's under a pound. Yeah. So she, 14 ounces. So she's putting it in one of those eBay envelopes. And if it would have been heavier than a pound, she probably would have put it in one of those padded priorities. The eBay envelopes in these padded priorities are our staples. We use those probably more so than any of the other ones. And what we like to do after we've sealed up the package, we like to write down the customer's name on the package so that later, whenever we get ready to print off the shipping labels, we know exactly where that label goes. You got any tips on shipping out, Jordan? Um, music makes it better. Music makes it better? Yeah. <laughs> I think probably the best tip that I could give is to have a process. Having a process makes it faster and simpler. Less stressful when it becomes second nature. All right, so she's got a pair of bands right there. She's gonna be shipping out. She's probably gonna end up having to put those in a priority mail envelope because usually our bands are over a pound, so we can't fit those first class. So with that priority mail is the perfect way to go, the padded flat rate. I think with the new increase, it's $7.76 now. Uh, it was seven dollars and fifty-two cents. So, but that's all good. Still pretty cheap. Better than having to pay, you know, eight or nine dollars. I can tell you that.
And we like to put lots of tape on there just because we don't want there to be any reason for, you know, that bag to come unsealed. So we kind of overdo it a little bit with the tape. We don't mind that because it's free, basically, because we get it off of eBay with my little credit. So, but we like to put lots of tape on there just to ensure that that package is going to get there without any opening. A pair of Chaco shoes here. Again, those are going to be too heavy to go first class, so she's going to have to put those in a priority mail envelope, which is perfect. Yeah, and you know, you can typically ship a lot faster once your systems support what you do. So we do lots of clothing items, lots of shoes, lots of shirts, lots of jeans. Most of that stuff fits into either the priority mail flat rate envelopes or these eBay, or these eBay poly envelopes. So um, it's pretty simple. Everything's pretty streamlined, pretty quick. We know how to, you know, get it in there, get it sealed up, move on to the next one. You know, so it makes it a lot easier when we're shipping out. So we got a nice flow. jackets you can put it inside the hood. Mm -hmm. like That's a good idea, yeah. Or just to keep it compact. It. Yeah, or if you just, you know, if you want to keep it compact, you can do it that way. Oh, no, haven't even mentioned pirate ship. You want to tell me about pirate ship or you want me to? Okay, so we like to use pirate ship just as another shipping option. Um, it works perfectly for our eBay poly envelopes uh, that are right there because even when we have shoes, we're typically only paying about seven, eight dollars, you know, because it's going by, I want to say, the uh, cubic measurements. So there's a lot of times where it'll be way cheaper to purchase on Pirate Ship as opposed to from eBay or from the post office. You know, on a jacket like that, that would probably, you know, weigh, how much does that weigh? So it weighs about two pounds. If we were to buy that label off of eBay or on the USPS website, it's probably going to cost us, you know, I would say nine to $11, but we're going to go on pirate ship and on pirate ship, it's probably going to be anywhere from seven to $8 for us. It may get up to nine at max, but lot better deal for us. That's why we like using the poly envelopes. Just like that. Oh yeah, is that the last yeah. one of the day? We just got this scale from Amazon. Um, I've been having it for probably three years now. It's been very durable. I know, I think it was probably like maybe 30 something dollars. Um, I'll put a link in the description that way. Well, I'll put a link for all this stuff. So. Um, that way, if you want to snatch it up, you can. Even though this one's for Macari, we still put it in an eBay envelope. Yeah. Because then maybe they'll come search <laughs> from eBay. Okay. 
And, you know, we did have some other poly envelopes that were just completely blank. But um, I haven't reordered those just because we had a lot of these eBay envelopes. So there was no point of using those. So that's why we're using eBay envelopes for everything. So, Well, guys, that is going to be it on our shipping process. It's nice and simple and, and easy. Um, and if you have any questions, just let us know. We appreciate you guys for stopping by. I hope this video was helpful for you. And don't forget to, to uh, subscribe. See you guys later.